So you just want to ever lay your lace and you're just feeling yourself and it's just melted. You know, I got you right now. Hey flowers, it's your girl Risa Fern. I'm back with another video. Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? What up? What up? It is so, so nice to see you here. We are on quarantine day. Who the fuck knows? Okay, so today we're going to talk about laying, slaying, melting a wig every single time. I'm going to show you the step that I take to melt down my wig seamlessly. What laces simply just melted. If you want to see my process without using any ball caps, no glue, just simple got to be glued and a scarf make sure you continue to watch but before we get into it I want you to subscribe to my channel hit the bell for notifications so that anytime that I upload a video you are notified go ahead and thumbs up this video comment down below and share this video with your friends okie doke let's get right into it hey you guys okay so let's get right into it <laughs> what's up so we're gonna start with fresh hair braided hair dirty hair whatever make sure it's braided down nice and flat and I'm gonna use my got to be ultra glued uh, gel this is really a gel but it lays down as you probably already know as a glue for a wig and if you do it well enough um, it probably will last you two days, three days, maybe, depending on just your head or whatever, but yeah. So usually when you get to this part, once you've put it all the way on your forehead, um, right in front of your hairline, you want to start drying it out. You can use a blow dryer or you can just walk around and just let it air dry. You just want to let it dry until it gets a little tacky. I feel like it's not tacky enough yet, so I'm just going to put on my wig and just put some, uh, what are those called? Bow clips or wing clips or duck cl duck clips. Oh my gosh. Put some duck clips in front and you want to make sure the hair is facing backward. And the reason why is because once you lay that hair, you don't want any of those strands to kind of glue on the scalp as well. You want to make sure you're showing that lace and that's how you get that melt to look even more. So I'm starting in the center and I'm just going to lay that center piece right where it, where you see it now. And I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb and I'm just going to make circular motions into my forehead just to make sure that it lays down. So you're going to do that all around the front of the wig as you see me doing right now. And you see I'm trying to make sure everything stays back so that I don't have any issues with the with the slayage or the layage. You want to make sure that it lays backwards. That's like really, really crucial for this, y'all. I'm telling you. Those are some of the baby hair. So I'm just trying to make sure they're not stuck in the glue. And now, I'm, as you can see, I'm trying to like push them back. So once you lay this side, you're of course going to do the same thing to the other side. I lost the footage of me laying the other side. So I'm just letting you know, everything you do is repeat. I went ahead. I did the other side as you can see I'm showing you and then I put my headscarf on and then I went ahead and did my makeup so I lay my wig for about at least an hour while doing my makeup before I take it off so it's setting for about an hour on this um so this is how it looks once I take the scarf off and that's how it already looks melted so I'm going in with my melanin mix edge control I like to use this edge control on my wigs because it's not as harsh as the other ones that I use on my natural edges. This one is a little bit more soft, more like a nice pomade that'll hold the um, edges down. Or you can just go in with some like mousse or foaming mousse, anything like that would work. But I like the baby hairs to look more like hair and not be plastered down um, because these hairs are a lot straighter than at least my own hair. So I'm taking my edge control brush and just brushing my baby hairs, I mean my edge control brush and just brushing my baby hairs up. And honestly, I'm not the ultimate best at the baby hair thing, but you know, we try. <laughs> we try. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can go in back and forth between the comb side, the regular side, and you're just going to brush it up until it looks like natural. You want it to look natural, and that's why I kind of don't like the baby hair thing, because I think sometimes it doesn't look that natural. So after I'm done with that, I grab my brush for the contour since I've been brushing on top of my scalp. And I just take a brush. I don't add any more product, but I just take the brush that I just used to do my makeup. And I'll just go into the places where I feel like I just messed up my makeup a little bit just to make it more seamless. And like literally, that's it. You can do this in, well, if the, uh, the lay down is for an hour. 
But if you really think about it, this don't take you like longer than 10 minutes, sis. I just like my lay down to be so long because I want my wig to stay. So that is it, guys. This is how it finally comes out. Um, if you haven't seen the wig in this video that I did a review on, this wig is from Bliss by Aria. I will link this video in the description box and it's also going to be in the cards. So make sure you check this out and hit her up because she is she got some bomb units, right? Like I'm telling you. But that is pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to join the flower gang by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. See you guys in my next one.